Hello, I have a video for you today about books. It's true, books. Um, so, uh, a few days ago, uh, I saw a post on Twitter by one Maggie Siebert, uh, author of a book I read fairly recently, came out earlier this year, Bonding, Collection of Stories, which I, I did a review of, you can, you can see, uh, and I enjoyed that book very much. <clears throat> and she tweeted out a trailer, a book trailer for a new book that she made the trailer for, not her book, but she made the trailer for a new book uh, called Run Off Sugar Crystal Lake uh, that is by a gentleman named uh, Logan Barry. Uh, and uh, and uh, it, it looks great. It sounds like a, a book that I'm going to enjoy. It's coming out later this month. And it's being published by a press called 1111 Press. And I recognized that name, 1111 Press, because there are a few other books floating around that I had had come to my attention uh, that I have been interested in that are published by 1111 Press. And so I went to 1111 Press's Twitter, and what do I see but the uh, flyer for a uh, reading that is being presented by 1111 Press in the city of Minneapolis next Saturday, October 16th, for the Twin Cities uh, Book Festival, which is an annual uh, festival <clears throat> for publishers and authors, mostly indie stuff uh, that takes place at the state fairgrounds that is run presented by Rain Taxi, which is a very prestigious and lo well-loved literary journal, quarterly literary review journal <clears throat> based out of Minneapolis. So I do some digging and I realize that 1111 is based in Minneapolis. And uh, a number of these authors who are going to be reading uh, and presenting at this reading are local cats. Um, and so I was like, all right, I need to I need to make some things happen. So I go to their website and I'm looking through the store and I find out that they have this section in the store that is um, slightly damaged books and or uh, ARCs, Advanced Reader Copy Galleys, of their books, and they are only $5 a piece. So, I looked up, you know, all of the options that were there, and, and I selected a number of them, and I ordered them on Thursday, and uh, on Friday, yesterday, I got shipping confirmation, and then today, they got here. Uh, <laughs> You know, it, it, they are coming from, you know, 10 miles away, so it's not super surprising, but it did get here very fast. So, I have here a package from 1111 Press, big fat package, uh, that I am going to open now, and we will see what I have in here. I don't know. Um, there's a nice little thank you on the back. Thank you, guys. I'm sure I will be seeing and meeting you just in a week's time. Um, so for each of these books, I don't know if I'm getting a galley or if I'm getting a damaged copy or what, but uh, we will find out. And, and only one of these do I even remember what it was. Um, but they all sounded pretty sweet, so let's find out what I got. First up, we've got, this looks, okay, so this is slightly damaged, you can see here the corners nubbed a little bit. We've got Zero Excess by Jake Reber, Andy Ambient Body Horror. Zero Excess is a work of ambient body horror, depicting the birth and growth of strange organisms, creatures spawned from the maw of the text, watch as they fester in the dark, illuminated only by the reflection of the monitor screen. The data glut bleeds out into desolate landscapes of zeros and ones. Biocosmic distortions, pixel vibration, flesh plane flatness. Using cut-up techniques, warped imagery, and diagrammatic visual poetry, Jake Reber explores the relationship between the organic and the digital. 
The pages are designed for slow scanning more than reading, excavating the yet unknown terrains of databases and dead websites. And so, yeah, um, let me just sort of flip through it here and let you see what we're talking about. We got some of that. We got some of this. We got some of that. There's that. That's pretty spooky. There's a lot of shit going on in here. Um, so this sounds pretty, really up my alley. Um, you know, experimental horror, which is, I think, kind of the main the thing that, that 11.11 is specializing in. Um, experimental, non-traditional horror books. Next, uh, we've got a Uncorrected Proof. But it looks kind of like it's just a regular copy that just has a sticker on the cover that says Uncorrected Proof. Starving Romantic by Vincent James Perrone. Um, this is one of the authors who is going to be at the reading that I'm going to next week. He is not a local guy, though. He is from D Detroit. Um, and this is a book <coughs> of poetry, actually. Um, got some quotes on the back. Uh... Perone's poems brilliantly crack open the wheezy engine that drives so many of our desires to journey toward homes both real and implied, metaphorical and visceral, dreamed and invoked. In this cracking open, Perone reveals such an electric disappointment, the dependence of longing on close examination, and a seized, if still revivable, Midwestern kind of heart. So... You know, I, I like I like poetry sometimes. Um, I think it's it, it misses a lot more often for me than than fiction does. But uh, when it's good, it's real good. I gotta say. So um, I'm excited to give this one a shot. Very evocative cover there. A bloody mouth. Next, we've got. Drifter by David Leo Rice. <clears throat> so this is uh, this author is going to be there for the reading. He is uh, going to be one of the hosts of the reading slash discussion. Uh, he is part of a podcast called Wake Island Podcast, which I have not had a chance to listen to yet, but it is like a literary podcast. <clears throat> um, and so this is a story collection. No, it says here on the back that it's an arc. Um, but it's not like, it's funny, because it's not like a galley style. It's just like, it feels like a print-on-demand, you know, um, any book that you would get as a print-on-demand, you know, from uh, plenty of indie publishers when you buy them through Amazon and stuff. They're just printed on demand. Um, so it doesn't have a description on the back for, for us. According to... Good Reads. Drifter Stories is a massive collection that contains a decade's worth of short fiction by visionary writer David Leo Rice. Uh, and then it just lists a bunch of stories and where they were originally published. Um, this actually, uh, I mean, this isn't this is an arc, but this book just came out in June. Uh, like four months ago. Um, so getting a copy of it for five bucks, good deal. Uh, very cool. Um, uh, I, I love short stories. Um, and I think that short stories suit, hor horror sh suits short stories. Uh, I think it's a good medium for them, so I look forward to reading that. And the final book in here is the one that I know and remember. I got a, got a sticker for the book I mentioned at the beginning, Runoff Crystal Sugar, Runoff Sugar Crystal Lake. Um, that's cool. Very cool. And this one, is this, it doesn't say that it's an arc on it, but it also doesn't look damaged to me. Okay. But it is The Collected Voices in the Expanded Field. Um, so this book came onto my radar 
because there is a uh, a list on Goodreads that is called the expanded field um, that I kept seeing come up because it's got uh, a number of books that I have been interested in or have read on it, including um, both novels by B.R. Yeager, Negative Space and Amygdala Tropolis. Uh, it's got some stuff by Blake Butler, including 300 million. Uh, and it's got Bonding by Maggie Siebert, which I mentioned earlier. And other things that I've been interested in, like Mira Cor Corpora by Jeff Jackson, and uh, uh, Gut Text by Mike Corral, who is uh, uh, going to be at the reading that I'm going to. Um, and so what all of this, I think, mainly ex refers to is this book. Um, the Collected Voices of the Expanded Field. And what this book is, is it's a novel uh, that is written in collaboration. So uh, um, I don't know exactly how that works necessarily, but it is supposed to be one novel, one piece, but it is written by, as you can see, a lot of people, uh, including right here, you've got B.R. Yeager, who wrote uh, the book that I, if you watch the channel, you know is my favorite thing I've read all year, Negative Space. But it's got a number of other people whose names have come up, including Mike Corral, who I just mentioned, who is going to be at that reading. And um, it does not feature um, Maggie Siebert or Blake Butler in it, but like they are, you know, clearly uh, f friendly with and of the same sort of style and vein as uh, the people who are in here in our writing. So. I have no idea what this book is about, if it's even about anything. Um, but the idea of it sounds very cool, and I am excited to check it out. So yeah, that's I got four books from 11.11. Um, I'm very excited to read them and tell you my thoughts about them, and uh, to see this reading that they are putting on and, and, and telling you my thoughts about that. I might I might have to do a little vlog or something about TCBF and, and that reading next weekend. We'll see how I feel about it. Uh, and I have been reading, not voraciously, but a little bit. Uh, and so be on the lookout for uh, more book content in the near future, since I know that's what a lot of you are here for. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.